Yes, I don't love our pride. I've got a praise on the inside. Come to worship you on one accord when we gather. You will fill the room. Hi, everyone. So I know it's late, and I know I'm up here looking like a little girl. I have to put my hair in these little things when I sleep, and I was actually like literally about to go to sleep but I just have a testimony testimony time yes I have a testimony because God just really like blew my mind today and I I'm like part of me is speechless but part of me like wants to just tell the whole world because it God Seriously, our, our God is a way maker. Like that song that says, way maker, miracle worker, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Like that is who he is. That's who he is. That's who he is. And I was kind of convicted today after I had this breakthrough moment because I was like, man, who, who was I to to doubt that my God would come through? Like if God created the universe, if he puts the stars in the sky, if he keeps us day and night, if he watches over us, if he provides for us and protects us, if God can do all that and still be at peace, then what is my situation to him? Like how could I not trust him? How could I not believe that he would make a way? I was just convicted on that. Because for real, like, God can do anything. I, I want to write a song about that. Anyway, that's a, that's a whole side note. As you can tell, I'm my mind is just kind of all over the place. Which it kind of always is. But we're just going to get into this testimony. So the overflow so we had started a mentorship program and well we yes we started a mentorship program we god gave me the idea placed it on my heart to start this program and we posted about it and got a lot of feedback like i'm talking about we have 36 girls signed up and that's over the that's 16 people over the limit that we had so i was like wait wait i was like wait lord like how are we going to do all this and I began to have doubts and I began to question if this was the right thing to do because I was like this is a lot of people and we're only like 16 year old girls how God how are you gonna and I was just I was like father I don't know how this is gonna work out I was like we don't I'm broke like I just got a job and you know we like we don't have the money to have a rent a space and just all these things and I was like this if anything this we're just gonna have to say no y'all my who am I to like looking back I'm like Bobby do you know God you know like the Bible says if we have faith as small as a mustard seed and my faith was probably that size like because I was like I really don't know Lord how you're going to do this and if you do, it's going to be a miracle. Well, what do you know? Ah! So I've been praying. I have been fasting. And just out of nowhere, like right in the middle of the wilderness, a way. Like a way that had been paved by God. No one else could have put this together. No one else could have done this but God. And I'm telling you because I... Like, I, I still can't put all the pieces together. I don't know how it happened. I just, I, I don't know. So I, there's this lady I met a long time, well, not a long time ago, a while back. Um, she was my church. She's also working uh, for my school as like one of the administrators in an administrative position. So it calls me into the counselor's office and I'm like, okay, I, I thought I was just there for my schedule, right? <laughs> Y'all, I'm so sorry, but I'm just, I just get really excited. So she calls me in and I'm like, hey. So she wanted to introduce me to this girl um, to mentor her. 
but then so on our way there we started talking she was like how are you doing and I said I'm good um but you know you always you always have the butt in there so I was like I'm good but you know things with the overflow are kind of interesting I didn't say bad I just said interesting and I just explained to her, you know, we didn't have, we have all these girls signed up, these parents who are wondering when we're going to start something. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like, oh, well, have you talked to your pastor, our pastor? And I was like, well, I'm waiting to meet with him. And she's like, well, have you talked to the principal? And I'm like, no, because I didn't, I didn't even think about that. I was like, no. And all of a sudden I'm like, wait. I can talk to so she's like yeah like you can talk to the principal and I'll help you in any way I can because you could possibly rent out the school or not rent out the school she's like you could probably use the school as a space and I was like I was like this wait like use the school as a, as a that I was like wait really and she was like yeah and she was like I'll help you in any way and I was like wait really so she was like yeah go talk to him so I I'm I'm walking in the hallway about to go back to class and who do I see in the hallway our principal so I see him and I'm like uh I'll, you know I'll just do it another day I'll just it's fine like well I'll just go back to class and move on but I'm like well it wouldn't hurt to just say something so I go and I'm like hey tell him about everything explain things and he's like yeah of course like of course you can have it at the school um, register it as a club and talk to this person and yeah just sure like you'll be able to happen I'm like I'm like wait <laughs> slow down because everything was just happening too fast I was like wait so you're you're approving us like right here on the spot and he's like yeah so I'm like okay so and I still didn't know what it meant because we get we have the space now and then registered as a club so and it just didn't really make sense but I talked to my brother in the car and he's like oh yeah you could have it as a club and then like you could have the supervisor and then you could do this there and then I'm just like everything just started falling into place like falling into place things I had things I hadn't even thought about just started falling into place and I'm like this ha this has happened all this has happened in the span of three hours and I never in my lifetime would have thought of this. Like God, he he had a plan. And I'm telling you, before I even got there, like to the council, before I even, it, before it even registered in my mind, like, okay, I'm here at the council's office. God had made a way. He had a plan, a strategic plan. He had everything point to the period, to the blank. And here I am walking in just confused. <laughs> here I am walking in this this whole thing just confused. I'm like, wait, so you're approving us on the spot. You're saying you can help. All these things are just falling directly into place. And I just, I had to just say thank you, God. Because when I tell you, I I could not think of anything to do. I just, I was like, I don't know, Lord. And I, I just doubt and questions just in my mind. And I was like, Lord, I don't know how you're going to do this. Well, he did it more than I would have imagined. And I'm just excited to see where everything goes. So if you have questions about the overflow, contact me because we would love to have you join. We would love to have you be a part. We just went to encourage people all around the world i can't believe i just said that yeah all around the world who knows like where this is gonna go but um we just want to encourage people that hey we all have voids we all have places in us that we we try to fill with other things we all have these empty places and um they can only be filled by God. We encourage our teenagers and our peers that, hey, you don't need sex. You don't need drugs. You don't need this girl. You don't need this guy. You don't need these things to fill you up. What you need is Jesus. And when I tell you that he will fill your every void, 
to the overflow. Like, that's the God that we serve. He's the God of overflow. He's the God of more than enough. What you think you need, that you look for in pornography and what you think you need that you look for in relationships can only be found in God. And when you, the, the satisfaction that you'll feel when you find that is just amazing. The Bible says that those who thirst at, and thirst and hunger after righteousness shall be filled. What you're thirsting for, what you're hungering for is not what you think it is. It's not what can be found in this world, but it's deeper than that. If God is our cup and if he is our portion, then how in the world are we going to go around trying to fill our cup with other things? If he is our cup, if he is what determines the amount to which we are filled, and if he's our portion, then I can't try to shove anything in this cup. Because this cup is only meant to be filled by God. Overflow. Right there, overflow. So I don't know what the future holds. I've had visions and I'm seeing them literally come, like, unfold before my eyes. Things that I had dreamed of that I hadn't been, that I hadn't seen happen yet, I see closer than ever now. So I want to encourage you today that the dream that you have slept on, that the vision that you have covered up, dig it back up. Do not, do not waste your talent. You hear what I'm saying? Do not waste your talent. The men who um, their master gave gave one talent and then five talents and no gave one talent two talents and five talents do not be like the foolish man who went and buried the talent i am telling you right now that vision that dream that business that book that song that you have on the inside of you do not bury it but go you go you go and work that thing i was watching a sermon by tony evans and he was saying that the vision and the idea that God has given you, you are not the owner of. You don't decide, oh, I'm just going to go bury it. I'm just going to, you know, it's not all that. I'm just going to go. Because that, you are a manager of it. You're not the owner. You are a manager. And if God has given you this thing, if God has given you this gift, if God has given you this idea, if God has given you this vision, put that thing into action and watch what God does. Y'all, I stepped out on faith, total faith on the overflow almost two years ago. Didn't know who was going to join. Didn't know what it was going to be. I just had a vision. I just had a, an idea from God. I, I had been fasting and God just dropped this in my heart. And I was like, okay. So I, I stepped forward. Now a year, fast forward a year later. And we're still, we're still having this Bible study and we're, we're growing and now, and then fast again, um, uh, with the church, Daniel fast and all this stuff. And God drops on my heart again. N this time start a mentorship program. So I, I, I say, okay, Lord, I, and I, at first I was really excited. I was like, oh yeah, like a mentorship program. Like ain't nobody gonna come for me now. But y'all, after a while, the enemy was like, you sure you call for that? You sure you can do that? Look at all these people. You're only 16. And I was, I just started to believe the lies. And in my faith, I just, I said, Lord, I, I know you can do it, but like, I, I don't see how and just I kept praying and like just in the blink of an eye God has made a way and I'm excited to tell you that we are starting a mentorship program and I'm like y'all I believe that the overflow will reach the nations. Like, I I believe that our reach will be greater than what we can imagine. 
and we're only we're only youth we're only youth um i'm 16 olivia's 17 we're high schoolers but i just i can't underestimate the power um that god's given us the the vision and because like i said earlier this isn't anything i could have done this is god this is god this is god this is only god and i'll be singing that till i die this is god not me do not look at this channel don't look at my blog don't look at anything that i do and say this is me because this is god and i've learned that like when i live my life in submission to him he does amazing things. So I really I'm re I really need to encourage you today. And this this is my testimony, but I believe that someone needs to hear this that whatever that thing is that God has given you to manage I I need you to work that thing. I need you to put that thing into action. God is God God needs you to say yes to the call and move forward. God needs you to put that faith to action. God needs you to put that thing, put that dream, put that vision to action. And watch what he does. And don't don't believe that the enemy will not try to get in the way. Because of course he will. But the enemy cannot curse what God has blessed. Satan cannot touch what God has given you because this this God thing that you hold this God thing that you are managing you you have the power you have the ability to make that thing what God has what God has ordained it to be this thing the enemy can't touch it the enemy I mean <laughs> sorry the enemy cannot touch this what God has given you, God has specifically given you. And if you don't if you don't put that thing to action, if you don't say yes to the call, like it it won't it won't get done. Because God has given you something unique to do. And God doesn't need our help, but he he gives us just like the master who gave the men um, the one talent, the two talents, and the five talents. He didn't he didn't need to um, give that to them so they could invest it, but he wanted to give it to them to see if they could be good stewards. Are you being a good steward today? What has God given you? What has God put on the inside of you that you are not using, that you are not stewarding over? Me, it was just an idea. And I, di I didn't know how it was going to work out, but I said, okay, Lord, I guess I'll say yes. And as I have learned to walk in that yes, and it has been a journey, but as I've learned to walk in that yes, God has blown my mind. And I believe that there's so much more ahead. <sighs> And I'm just, I'm ready for overflow. I'm so imperfect. Literally this morning, I, I was just crying out to God, like, Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry. I, I was just, I just felt heavy and burdened. And like, I'm just, I'm so imperfect. But some somehow, some way, God continues to open doors and make ways literally when I when I feel at my worst <sighs> just say yes just say yes <sighs> and as I um, I, I have my Bible open because I just got done reading with my grandma but as I look down um, I'm looking at Romans chapter 8, verse 18, and it says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is going to be revealed to us. 
and then um, verse 19 says for the for the creation eagerly waits with anticipation for God's sons to be revealed oh whoosh mm. y'all if you if you grasp what this verse is saying what you're what you're suffering through right now because every day is a battle what you're going through right now is not even worth comparing to what God wants to do God has given you something and the earth is waiting for your yes there are lives that are depending on your yes and your submission to God do not take this thing and run off with it and I've made that mistake do not but but submit to God move at the speed that he has that he has ordained for you to move at and so you may ask well what is that speed just walk by the spirit daily just walk in the spirit and it'll the, everything will just fall into place and unfold but what what verse 19 says is for the creation eagerly waits with anticipation for God's sons to be revealed there is there is a world that is waiting for you to be revealed there is there is a world there are people that are waiting for you to be revealed for your for you to say yes for some of you God has given you something and you've been sitting on it or you've buried it and he's just waiting for you to say yes and for others of you God is preparing you and the the time will come when he will need you to say yes for some of you you're in a season of waiting and you know God may he may there it may not be the right time because God's timing is perfect it may not be the right time for you to be revealed yet it may not be the right time but whatever you do just submit to the spirit whatever you do just follow God whatever you do just trust in the Lord with all your heart whatever you do just lean on him he will make your path straight his timing is perfect his timing is perfect and what what you may think will take years God can do in an instant so don't don't sleep on the waiting season because God is doing something in the waiting season and if you have buried this thing and God is waiting on you to say yes don't don't continue to sleep on it like There's something so powerful about submission. I just don't even know. I can't even stress it anymore. So I hope this encouraged you guys today and blessed you. I am going to finish up my homework and go to sleep. But um, just be encouraged. <sighs> just be encouraged. So um, I, I want to close this out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so, so much for who you are. You are God Almighty. You are the great I Am. You are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We thank you that you are our, our refuge and you are our strength. You are our fortress, Father. We thank you that you are a way maker. You are a miracle worker and you are a promise keeper. Father, I pray right now for the person that may be watching this video who has underestimated the thing, the idea, the vision, the gift that you have given them. Father, right now I pray in the name of Jesus that you would awaken that thing on the inside of them and that they would begin to put it to use, Father, and that you would bless the work of their hands, Father, that they would be stewards of this thing that you have given them, that they would not try to own it and that they would not try to give it away, but, Father, that they would be stewards and that they would steward it by your spirit and by your power, Father. I pray right now in the name of Jesus over the person who, Father, has... Um, has buried this thing this person lord who may be in the waiting season father i pray that you help them to know that your timing is perfect and that at the appointed time that they will be revealed at the appointed time lord there's a time for everything 
a time for sowing, a time for harvest. But Father, we trust in your timing today. And I pray over this person who may be watching this video, Father, that you would just give them strength, that you would give them courage, and that you would give them the, the faith that they need to be obedient to you in this time. And Father, that um, you would just, that you would help them to endure this season. Help them to just meditate on your word. Help them to just trust in you in this time. And Father, I just pray um, over anyone who may be watching this video that you just help us, Lord, to pursue you as our desire. Not the thing that you've given us. Not the vision, not even the purpose, Father. Because you, you should be our ultimate desire. When we seek you first, when we seek first your kingdom, all else will be added onto us. So, Father, your will be done, your way, your will, not ours, Father, but yours. Do what only you can do. Father, help us to be submitted to you daily. Just have your way in our lives, Lord. Have your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, I hope you were encouraged today. That's it. God is good. Ah, Shelly Abake. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Good night.